You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and white sports fans, let's talk about the Kami Olympics going on over there in the People's Republic of China in Beijing. Now, guys, we despise Marxists here on this channel. We despise communism on this channel. We despise the CCP and what they're doing over there in the People's Republic of China. They're an oppressive regime. We should not even be there participating in this propaganda for the CCP. And we know that the U.S. actually has some traitors that are actually on Team China. That are actually U.S. citizens. And apparently they may or may not have actually renounced their U.S. citizenship. But it's also happening up there in Canada as well. And now, folks, we have a Canadian representing China in the Beijing Propaganda Olympics and the CCP's full authoritarian leadership is on full display over there, guys. This is what we're going to be talking about in this video, and it's completely insane. Here we go, guys. Canadian-born goalie barred from speaking English at 2022 Olympics presser. Yes, because she, I guess, I don't know exactly why she decided to actually go over there to China and represent them considering she's a Canadian, but it's clearly she betrayed Canada to go over there and represent China. Let's read this. The goalie for China's women's hockey team, who was born in Canada and spent most of her life there, was barred from speaking English in a press availability earlier this week. Zhao Zhangjing, I'm probably mispronouncing the name, also known as Kimberly, Kimberly Newell, answered a number of questions in Mandarin before a reporter asked if she could take questions in English. Before she could respond, her translator did so for her. Yes, an agent of the Chinese Communist Party. She wasn't even allowed to speak for herself. But this is what this CCP interpreter said. Quote, she's not allowed to speak English. The interpreter said, according to Rudders, I'll try to answer for her. And apparently the interpreter was allowed to speak in English. But Kimberly Newell, representing China, who is a fluent English speaker, considering she grow, grew up in Canada. Is not even allowed to speak in her native language of English. It says here Newell is fluent in English, Mandarin and French, according to her official Olympic bio. However, as an official Chinese athlete, the country will only allow her to speak in her non-native tongue. And this is the Canadian trader right here. Why are these people betraying their own home countries to represent China? I really don't have an answer. The 26 year old is one of many foreign born athletes to represent the country without holding citizenship or spending much time in China. She's not even a damn citizen, folks. And she's representing China and she is bending the knee to the communist oppressive regime over there. And she can't even speak English. She's not allowed to speak English, I should say. She spent most of her junior career with the Canadian national team, but had the opportunity to join China's team KRS uh, Vanky Rays in the Chanskaya Hockey League. And that allowed her to represent the country in Beijing. The entire national team plays for the Vanky Rays, many of them American and Canadians. You even have Americans. On, th this is disgusting, folks. This really does piss me off. It really does. Noel has Chinese heritage through her mother, who was born in China. Zhao Zhangying is a name she adopted for the Olympics, as all foreign-born players have done. This isn't even her real name, folks. It's not her real name. She took this name simply for the Olympics. Why is this happening, guys? 
you can see China's influence influence on the world. The communist oppressive regime and guys, they're communists right now in our government, man. They want this. Your AOCs, your Bernie Bolshevik, Bolshevik Sanders, communists in elected government here in the United States. If we don't take charge, this is what will happen to us, folks. We already been in the need of China enough with this ridiculous government we have going on right now. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, Canadian trader, playing for Team China, barred from speaking English, her native tongue. And she's not even using her real name participating in these Olympics. This is absolutely pathetic, guys. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.